Okay, for those of you making masks, it's gonna show you how I am folding these because this is what's taking the longest. Um, I've already gone through, I like to batch mine, so I've gone through and I've done the top seam, folded it in half. Now I am going to fold it and pin it for pleats like that. So this becomes the bottom. So to fold these, I open this up, stick my fingers in here, and then run my nail right along the inside because you can't iron these. So make sure that that's sticking up again. Lay it flat, push it over a little bit, run your finger. Then I'm flipping it over. You'll see it kind of lays down on one side. You can do this with quilting fabric too, so quilters probably know this trick. Um, then do the other side, flip it again. This time you're gonna do the other side and you're gonna use your nails to kind of get right there on that seam. Then you can flip it out. And you'll have a seam that lays pretty darn flat without you really having to do anything. And there's not, there's not those weird bunches that happen at the seam. So then I'm laying it down, holding it with one hand, making it flat with the other hand, making sure that the notches are mostly lined up. And then again, hold it with one hand and I'm running a nail. You can use like um, the back of a spoon or whatever to do this. I'm lazy, so I use my fingernails, but it's also ruining my fingernails. Um, and then just grab it like this. You're folding it on that notch right there and then bringing it down to match the other notch. So you can see that that diagonal line there matches the open notch. And just pinning that. Then I go grab this, make the center of that notch where your pinch is, and then bring that down, match that, flip it around, pin it, and then I'm doing the same thing with the next one down. So grab it, pinch it at that line, and then fold down. Sometimes I can get it where I'm pretty darn close, even just from folding down, but you may have to adjust it a little bit. Again, all three of those slants should match up there. And then pull it. Make sure that you've got it flat, you don't have any bumps, and there you go. Now it's ready to be sewn down those sides and to have ties or to have the elastics put in. Remember that the folded part is your top of the mask and the seam is at the bottom.